Hello everybody, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of Goblin Stone. I'm very excited because I really do like this little roguelike tactical RPG and goblin colony simulator. And we are going to continue our ride today. Um, let's go to the larder and upgrade that thing, which gives us a bit more room to work with, as well as a bit more inventory space on the adventure. It takes us fiber and leather, which we have a lot of right now, and I think I want to invest a little bit. Also, breeding would be a, a quite good idea. I think I also, uh, I think I always want to do that uh, when possible. Um, what I want is, uh, I think it's going to be uh, another shaman, possibly. Uh, let me go ahead and take a look at my high spirit guys here. Um, yeah, you are a religious brute. You seem really good. Oh, you're gonna. Mm -hmm. Let's go over here. Spirit. Highest spirit. Okay. Lucky religious brute. You are fantastic, my friend. Um, we could also get alert. What do I actually want? I think I want something like... Of a, a lucky brood. religious guy? This seems like pretty good here. Okay. So we're just gonna breed because we can. It's not that I really need these guys, but with a little bit of genetic, you know, uh, tinkering, we can maybe get like a super goblin at some point. So I think we want to always take our chances. This guy is a 546, and he can be religious. I don't want flabby. I want alert. Alert is not the greatest, to be honest. But what we can do is making him a, a brute. Yeah, this guy is pretty good. But our barracks are full? Oh no, I don't want to dismiss you. Let me quickly check. Who do we have here? Uh, we could be the same guy. <laughs> it's the same guy. Literally. Okay. Interesting. And we got Slur Buster, who is also the same guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Triplets. Actually, he, ha he has one more mind. Yeah, he has a, a higher base stat line. So Slurbuster is the guy that we probably want. Oh, I see. Active goblins, retired goblins. Um, Actually, in that case, let me go ahead and retire some people, shall we? Um, I do believe we have still some guys here who are... Um, yeah, who are not great anymore, question mark? This is Bump Rafter, one of our raiders that we have decommissioned. Do we retire him? That's the question. I don't know. Yeah, you are not gay. Oh, you got skeptic though. Ooh. But other than that, you're not really good. Could I change your class? I could change your class. But that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I just took you for the gene pool. So I guess I'll get you out of here. Can I? Hold up. We got some peons as well. Oh, they're, they're rookies. Yes, yes. Okay, um, I gotta make up my mind real quick. Do I want to just kick some of these people or do I want to retire them? I think we can retire Bumper after he did his job. So we're gonna do that, get some some souls as well. I think that's a great idea. Uh, and then we got Yak Dealer, which I cannot click right now. Something's broken. Okay, we try again. Yak Dealer, he has that dark vitality bonus. You're all right. But honestly, you're not the greatest of goblins. I'm also gonna retire you. All right, yeah, making some progress on the on the end of, of souls here. And then we wanted Slur Buster, correct? A religious brood who might be a very good shaman later on. Good. So, that being said, I would say we're gonna try to gather some more materials, and for that we need to get into the war room. We still have a huge bottleneck of wood, and I wanna see where this is going. So, um, Chipper Bluff. Okay. What are you? Oh, you are one of these ghouls. Ugh. But we can get wood here, so we're gonna do it. Everybody got a stick? Yep, looking good. Let's get into it, boys. All right. So, ah, the storyline. Of course. The goblins hasten to the camp to 
will search for survivors. That might be a bit too much. Why? The goblins rush to the aid of a young orc, buried in the wreckage of his own prison, too weak to escape. They struggle to help the orc from the rubble, determined to accord him a breath of free air to ease his suffering. At the sound of their harried summons, the old orc assists in freeing his trapped kinsfolk. The goblins are left bereft at the sight of the young orc's undeniably fatal injury. Oh no! The weakened orc is overjoyed at the familiar sight of his savior, whom he addresses as Elder. He asks okay. about the fate of the orc commander, hopeful that their leader safely escaped this wretched camp. The old orc speaks with evident grief in his words. He confides that all who escaped with him have been killed, including his only son. The Orc Commander, whom oh. he buried in the old woods. So that's why he was so sad. He buried his own son. Okay. Fortitude unshaken by the ill news, the injured Orc hands over a scroll, stolen from the prison warden's chambers. Finding peace in this final affront to his halfling captors, he closes his eyes as his heart ebbs into silence. Oh, the drama. <laughs> Agitation uh. flares into fury. The prison warden must account for his vile acts. All right. The prison warden. Let's get going. All right. We we get some, oh, we get some bonuses here. A uh, damage versus beasts, 50%. Gains five life per attack. And we got a chance to slow. Respectable hole. Mm-hmm. Um, this is not by chance, right? This is always here, huh? Gain five life per attack. I think we're gonna give it to our raider. Because, yeah, we can make use of a lot of quick and fast attacks here. And he has, he is particularly squishy, so giving, getting a little bit life back is really good. Damage versus beasts and a chance to slow. Chance to slow. Kinda wanna give it to my power guy. Cause he's throwing out a lot of AoEs. So we go with that. And then damage versus beasts. Uh, let's give it to our hunter so he deals even more damage to beasts. That's my plan. Uh. <laughs> the flies again. I need to. I need to instantly uh, tune the sound effects down again. Ah. All right, here we go. So we got a ghoul. It's a singular ghoul. He's alone, which is okay. So what do we have? I think we got to intercept here directly. Sure. I'm gonna make sure that he's not attacking my shaman. This is the important thing about it. We can try to stun him. And we do. Very nice. So yeah, now I got my AoE guy here. I cannot attack this, by the way. It's not possible. Let's go, Hex. Chonk. I mean, we always have our base attack of our uh, equipped weapon. Uh, so we have a bit of, like, direct damage. Focus down damage. So here we go. We got devious shot, hell yeah. It's a crit with 22 damage. Um, yeah, our blast deals quite a good chunk as well. Great. Intercepted. Oof, but the, the damage is massive. I think we can afford the heal. Got a crit heal as well. Okay. Go and try to stun him again, please. No, oh, he resisted. Now we need... Now we need a crit. 
This gives us two chances for a crit. Come on. So close. Oh, he's just shambling. Nice. He's upgrading his power. Beautiful. No attack from his end, which means uh, whatever. Whatever kills. Okay. Maybe sh I should have chanced it a little bit more. There was a shaman coming up with a possible heal. Nine. Okay. Yeah, this is... This is scripted. This is so scripted, guys. Let's go. We got some foodstuffs. What is coming here? Goblins assemble to hunt this ruthless warden. Is that the warden? They give pause at the looming appearance of a malevolent white and shrouded in shadow. It slowly writhes forth, hunting the same quarry. Mm -hmm. Under the creaking gallows, the sniveling warden mules for help. White, sensing the goblin's presence, abandons the halfling in favor of more suitable. Prey. This is so Lord of the Rings, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I see what you did there. Um, the ring wraiths. Yeah, let's go attack the white. Maybe we can do some diplomacy with the halflings later. I don't know. Maybe we just kill this guy. Huh? I think he deserved it. Absolutely. So we got, oh god, big boss. 250 health, but luckily it's only 10 damage that he's dealing. And he has magic armor. Okay. I'm gonna start armoring up here. I just want to get that going as much as possible. Uh, I mean, fine, we're gonna go for an intercept. Just in case. He wants to attack my hunter, it seems. Spirit rushing the, let me think, the hunter. Yeah. I think he probably has the best DPR right now? Question mark? I don't know. Let's go with the good old wakey wakey. By the way, is he bleedable? 80% resist. Oh, he is resistance to a lot. Wow. 50% stun resist, 100% knockback, 30% slow, 50% poison, and 30% freeze. <laughs> All right, but he's not really good against physical damage. Do we want to deal 18 damage later? Yeah, obviously. We will attack this guy a bunch of times. What? What happened? Um, wait, we are cursed? Hold up. Curse of the Meek, an enemy skull is summoned each time you use an ability that costs two or less. I only have two skulls. Skills here. Okay, cannot do anything about it. Curse of the Meek. So we gotta go high time ability cost. Well, well, well. Um, It doesn't help. Bash him. Trigger trap. Okay, 18 damage. He resisted the stun. What are these things doing? 22 health, 2 damage only. They probably have some, like, tech abilities. Um... Blast is fine. Blast is very fine. So if we get the poke, the it's an exploding skull. Oh, I see what you're doing. What happens if I do this now? Encouraging progression. Yeah, I feel like this is. Oh, nice! I feel like this is something that if we wait too long, the skull will just blow up. Yeah, we are in trouble. This is not gonna be an easy fight. Um, gonna guard you, my friend. Maybe I should, maybe I should split the damage. Could be a thing. Go chop. The curse of the meek. It's kind of nasty. I think I'm gonna start healing already. Because my tank is not looking good anymore. Clam Timber. And he is gonna intercept, um, yeah, an attack. So he needs to be ready for it. Curse of the Reckless. Ah, the Frozen Man. Alright, what do we have here? Curse of the Reckless, an enemy skull is summoned each time you use an ability that costs three or more. Well? It's gonna happen. 
What if I make you fast? It doesn't help against the freeze. Okay. Ah, that's bad, Ben. That's a wasted thing. Um, yeah, problems. Problems, we got them. At the very least, we can set up some guards. Well, well, well. We'll bash that guy. Oh, this is tough. And the fact that he's always healing 24 is not okay. So I believe if the guy goes, if the skull goes, um, he's gonna blow up, huh? Snap. What do we have here? Each time you use an ability that costs three or more. I only have abilities that cost three or more. Ooh, this guy is hard. Okay, okay, they are not that bad. Okay, we can count, we can heal against that. That's good to know. We got information now. Okay, 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 okay. I will work with that. Let's go ahead and rattle the guy. Nicely done. Nicely done. Amplify heal. Healing is twice as effective. I see. So when they blow up, they also apply a buff to him. Was that what happened? Alright. Finally some damage. And we healed from him. Uh, off of him. Pestilence deals three damage to all foes. I think I'm better off going for Spirit Rush. There will be another Skull Summoned. Fine attacks. We go for, I think, a brute force attack. The skulls are not that dangerous. We can probably counter heal. So... Armor up. I can take that. What we need is another heal, which we don't get anytime soon. Oh, all right, fine. Snare trap is the best DPR that we got. We just need to trigger it, but this guy will get attacked so often by everybody. Wonder if I should armor up even further. I guess not. No, we're going for it. Exactly. Still 164. We got pestilence. Targets all foes. It's five to all. It's not bad. But I think I just accept the skulls. That's the thing. Give me some DPS. In form of... I guess I'm gonna get the radar. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm gonna get the... Hunter. Yeah. We just need single target damage. Oh, it, now it's getting scary. All right. He's pretty much bleed immune, so I'm gonna go with the regular... Oh, no. Sharp. I see the problem now. I see the problem. They're cluttering the field of battle with idiots, and that makes it so that I cannot properly attack the guy. I see. I see. <laughs> Right, six damage in. I mean, we're getting there slow and steady. We got a healing chant coming up. I like it. Uh, you are cursed. So we go with a two attack. Gotcha. Six damage at a time feels so bad. 50% resistance to the stun. Let's see what you got. Yeah, again. But it's nine damage. I just probably want to armor up even further, you know. So that I get more damage out of my tanks as well. But so far it's looking all right. Sadly no trap. So we go with the arrow. Making the fast attacks happen here. It's another big heal, huh? It is not. Okay. And another one. Jerk Powder is actually getting quite low. He's down to 18. And that's another 2. 16. We need, we need to counter heal now. Like, no matter what. Let's go. Give me some crits. No. Hmm. 
fair enough. So, we're gonna stay with the... Yeah, with the fast attacks. It's my plan. I hope it works. Drain life. 11 damage. 17 heal. Soul Gale. It's fine, but I, again, I think I need my, my raw DPS. Oh boy. Uh, let's go with the blast. Okay, that changes my plan for this round, definitely. I want to try to get the Exploding Skull out of the game now. This is alright. I'm gonna armor up, because you are really low already. Wait, this is all magic damage, right? I believe it's all magic damage. I don't think our physical uh, armor helps a lot here. At the same time, again, the more we have, the better we have it uh, when it comes to rattle. Skull is not immune to bleed. I could throw a dagger. Or I could poke him with the stick. Yeah, that's better. No luck on the crit side. Ah! Armor is actually helping. Alright, that's good. Try to rattle. No luck. Keep the armor up, buddy. You gotta live. It's important. Okay, we got the wakey wakey. This is not worth it. So not worth it. No, I'm gonna use my pointy stick to thrust the devious shot as well, but no. Okay. Skull down. 99 health. We're looking strong, and he used his turn to summon a skull only. Oh, yes, nice. strong once more. Cool, 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 cool. And we resisted the frost as well. I want to stun you so I can get a bit more damage on you. No, doesn't work. But 8 damage is fine. It's totally fine. Another healing chant? Yeah, I want to make sure. We only affect 3 goblins, but all oh, the backline was tired here. And that doubles our, our healing. And then we also got the crit. At this point... At this point, we can we can just go all in again. Should I try the slicing dagger? We can actually take the skull down. Let's go. What? Oh, another one? Fine. I really do wonder if we if I care about the skull or not. I think I'm gonna go with the thrust. Hoping for the crit, obviously, on the first one. I'll accept the damage. It is alright. Alright. It's kind of a shame that Pestilence and Soul Gale don't help us here. Let's go Hex on... Oh, nice. On the white. Gonna guard. Oh, it's also an armor up. Let's go rattle for seven. Finally, we got a stun out of him. That is so helpful. Curse of the Meek. So if we do something that is three or lower, then we're gonna get... Oh, two or lower. Then we get another skull. But we just don't do that then. Let's go blast. Okay. That settles that, which means that we will most likely just get the frontliner out of here. Almost. Okay. I know, they will get another skull, but it's basically a one... A trade of 1v1, and we now are hasted, so that's good. Um... Sure. It's a long fight, it's a war of attrition that we are fighting, but with the double heal ability, we can actually hold up. We can, we can hold out for that. Wakey Wakey kills the skull. But that means we are not making progress against the white. Yeah, just go for it now. I need to end this. I need to get out of here. Oh, by the way, I should have gone Wakey Wakey on the, the, the white because it would have had two chances for a crit. 
This is fine. So just bash. The random stun coming out. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. Push it. You're gonna push it hard. And strong. And fast. Because we are the goblins. We are many. Ooh. 54. I will still go for the healing chant. Did I exclude one of these? Wait, hold, hold up. Oh, 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 that's a problem. No, he just... Yeah. Oh, he was just not uh, injured. Uh, nine health on our friend here. We actually gotta end this and we gotta do it fast. So, let's go for a devious shot. It's the most damage that we can deal. Nice. What do we have here? I wanna axe him. But then another skull will appear. No, wait, you are not you're not cursed, so you're fine. Okay. We can do that. Rattle. Absolutely. Didn't get the stun. Ooh, this is getting scary. That was 15 damage. That could have killed our shaman. Oh god, how do we do this now? I cannot guard anybody. I got a bash. It's the only only real good thing. Yeah. Yeah, there will be another skull. But hey. Nicely done. We're pushing it now. I do like the self-heal ability. It's so good. Now we gotta make a decision here. Do I drop another heal? Or do we go for it? He has 27 health. I think I'm gonna go for the heal. We might crit. Uh-huh. Alright. That's good. Exactly what we need. Come on, stun him. No, he resisted. Another skull summoned. What do we have? 19 damage is what we need. You are cursed by the Reckless, so we need to go low. And we go long shot. Oh, we can only attack the backline with this. Makes sense. 13. He is third, so we're gonna get you. Don't think it's gonna be enough. Hold up. I'll intercept you, my friend. Yeah, because we have the blast ability here, and that's absolutely unreliable. Uh, let's do it. Yeah, it's the skull in the end. Nice. Very good. The wakey wakey would kill. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. We did it. A long fight. A long fight. I think the longest I've ever had. Oh, wait. This is still going to the end. Oh, this is not one of those fights where we are getting out of here when the boss is defeated. Just in case there is another event after that. I'm going to heal up and then kill the skull. All right. Get him. Oh, man. That was cool, though. Make me think. The Warden emerges from hiding. He gibbers on incoherently in a miserable attempt to impart gratitude. Kill him! Gazing closely upon his countenance, the goblins mark him as one of the adventurers in the dungeon who stole their supplies and killed their kin. Yeah. Begging for clemency, most undeserved. The Warden barters for his life, offering his personal cachet of treasure. With a growing sense of pity for the crusty-nosed halfling, the goblins cannot muster the spite to strike him down. At the sight of their hesitation, the Warden seizes the chance to scamper off into the dark, leaving his treasure behind. 
Man, I really hope that doesn't fall on our toes. Reluctant mm -hmm. to further distress the old orc, the goblins decide to keep the warden's escape amongst themselves. All right. All right. Without disclosing its source, they reveal the warden's cachet to the orc. Cautiously, he kneels and opens the chest with great care. Beneath the gym cracks, baubles, and copious amounts of cheese lies a suit of orcish armor accompanied by a single inordinate helmet. He gazes at length upon the object before cradling it to his chest. It is the helmet of his dead son, the Orc Commander. Through the smoldering ruins, the old Orc surveys what remains of his people. A series of ragged, leaderless, and broken souls. The Orcs gaze back at him with doleful eyes. He finds his grief replaced by an ebullition of fervor and clads himself in the armor of his fallen son. The elder orc dons the helmet to once again assume the mantle of commander, a title he left behind many years before. At cool. the sight of their commander, the orcs rally to their leader. He marches them north to their home deep within the hinterlands. All right, back in charge once more. Hmm? Is this ours? Can we take it with us? There's a bit of stuff here. Lots of valuables. Um, I believe this is over. Yeah, that's an exit. Okay. So I don't heal up anymore. We don't need that. Cool. Nice fight. Let's go. Cool. So, yeah, looking at the time, there will be definitely another mission coming up. What do we get? Applause! That's the best reward. And friendship. The old orc pays a surprise visit to his dear friends, the goblins. He is joined in company by a merry band of orcs, reveling in their newfound freedom. As the goblins step forth to welcome them, cheers and chants erupt from the joyous crowd. Hand in hand, they affirm the start of a timeless friendship between Orc and Goblin. They aver that their newfound alliance, tempered by the bonds of battle and goodwill, will never This is so wholesome. This During is so cool, the man. During the revelry, the Goblins are invited to visit the Green Shores to bear witness to the genesis of a new Orc capital. Nice! Nice! Can we hire Orcs now? That would be cool. Oh? Chapter 3. Queer Insolence. Chapter Mark. Cool. Let's go. Okay. Okie dokie. A new day, dokie. day 16. After a jolly meeting with the orcs, they invite you to visit the building side of their new stronghold. That's like our new quest now, right? Upgrade Ancestors Hall and visit the Orc Stronghold. Okay, we can do that. We have two rooms that we just upgraded. It's our Lada and, of course, our Shaman's Guild. Now our Shamans are way more powerful than before, which means that I want to really try to play this whole AoE game a little bit more. What do we have here? A Goblin Acolyte has wandered into your campgrounds. The Acolyte plays a supportive role by recovering lost life for his allies. That is, until it feels the rare urge to bludgeon an opponent with Divine Fury. Goblin Paladin? Wait, that's you, right? Best to Hello. Sort the Hello, Howl Decker. Alright, Acolyte bonus. Every three spirit point gain a power. So, yeah. It's good. It's also alert. He has magic armor. No uh, traits after that. Ah. Uh. I mean, welcome aboard, I'd say. That also means that we are most likely able to build one of these guilds, correct? We're not. Armory Quarters Larder Warrants. 
Og what? Um, uh, okay. Maybe we need to unlock it or so. Maybe we have to go to these, like, to the Ork City and they tell us how it works. Um, at the same time, um, b -b 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 let me think about it real quick. Is there anything else we want to do right here, right now? I feel like the answer is no. I think we're going to go in directly. Ah, one thing. Obviously, we check the merchant. What is that? An imbued carcass. Shaman Warlock Acolyte. Gives us Hex, 7 power, double slot. It's not exciting. Oh, we get... Mm, this is for the Acolyte. This is a 13 power bludgeon. With a 30% chance to knock back. Wow. 13 power is a lot. This is a quarter stuff, a spear with 12 power. Wait, this is like the... Hold up. 10 power and armor plus 5. I mean, I'm not gonna give up that armor. That's really good. Yeah, it's just the better tier weapons that we got now. The wooden sword instead of, like, the sharpened stick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I can see that. This is a cobbled shield. 7 power, 2 armor. What? What? Yes, please. There's not enough room for the weapon. Good, I'm gonna sell the stool because that shield is better. Ah, okay. Do it like this. Hello. I should be able to do... Oh, wait, no. I just got the bone on the... Yeah, the imbued bone. Is that even an interesting thing for me? Mystic and Shaman. Wait, we have... Yeah, it's bad. I'm gonna get rid of that. And get the shield. There we go. Gotcha. So, uh, this can go, this can go, this can go. abso freaking lootly Do I want this for the raiders? I mean, currently we are running... Where is my ham hammer? 10 power. Chance to sunder. 100 to 125% damage. This is 10 power. Damage is lower with a chance to bleed. But it's a, it's a, a way faster attack. And if we get the bleed online... Then we also might be able to get some pick wounds action going. Stone axe, 11 power with the chop. I mean, it's just, it's just plainly better. And we have a lot of money right now. Yeah, there's no room. Okay. Get the ham hammer out of here. Yes, sell that. Get the axe. I think this is the, like, the straightest upgrade. But I want to go bleed. Let, let's go bleed. It's fine. Oh boy. Just what's needed. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so this is a 13 power item for an Acolyte. We need to test the Acolyte as well. Also, what are you? Let Only me quickly check that. Uh, you have like no traits. It's just brute. Nothing. <laughs> Wall copper. <laughs> no, there's a big nothing on this end. Okay, okay, okay. Can I take a look at my Acolyte? Where's my like skill list? A proper barracks can fuel a strong legion for many generations. Where is the acolyte? There he is. So our abilities are sacred. Cannot be managed until you get the acolyte skill. Okay. So we got Sacred Shield, Swift Mend, which is a heal for four. We have a Healing Prayer, which is a heal for seven. And we got Purify as well as Bludgeon because we got a large bone. Yeah. Should probably get the other thing with the bigger Bludgeon, huh? All right, let's do it then. Let's get the... Not the Imbued Bone. This one here. Yeah. There's not enough room. Okay. Good old club. Okie dokie. Um, how do we play this? I wanna... I wanna get some more wood as well. We are still very much lacking on that end. What's this? So this is advancing the storyline. Interlands badge. An award for defeating a scourge within the Interlands. Oh. 
Oh, let's do that. Let's go for it. Okay, and then again, oh, set up. How do we play this? I feel the bludgeon ability of my of my acolyte is actually pretty good. Schnonk. Get in there, Howl Decker. Do I need to change any of your abilities? No, you're just alert. Ah, oh, he's not the greatest boy in the world, but I'm gonna try him. So we are very much like magic focused now. We got the one raider. Uh, and yes, we need the weapons, obviously, right? So, get that in here. Okay. Get you the sword, like an actual sword. Oh, right. Um, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. There's one more thing that we probably want to check out. I'll, I'll be I'll be coming back in a second. Um, they had like this uh, rat on a stick, a carcass. Seven power, hex for two. Six power, but speed plus 30. So yeah, it's the higher tier thing, but it doesn't really help us. This is just so much better. Okay, just wanted to check if my shamans could be upgraded. All right, so in we go. Interlands. Scourge. Scourge? Scourge is what you say, right? Everybody has a thing in the hand. Nope, you don't. Seven freaking armor. <laughs> yeah, looking good, man. Let's go. I'm ready. So. Oh, I'm excited. So, what is this here? Um, is that like, a, like another mini boss that we find? For any brave enough to see it. Each party member gains two life when they attack. Oh, I like it. That's good amount of sustain. Especially when trying something new. It gives you a lot of wiggle room to play around with. Where to go? I guess we're gonna harvest. We're here for wood and there is wood possible here. Yep, there it is. Patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. Thought I saw something here. It's kind of crazy with these little light sparkles everywhere. They stuff their packs. Oh. Can we ambush you? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, no, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. So, a bunch of beasts here. A hunter would be nice now, huh? Yeah, but I think we're gonna get it done anyways. Damage up. I think our damage output in general is now significantly lower than it was before. Man, you all want to go for my Acolyte, huh? You don't like that guy. Alright. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have intercepted the spider because he's probably gonna go down relatively fast. This is one of these instances where I can attack everybody. Excellent spike. That was 18 damage over the board. It's not too bad. Let's go slash. Good damage plus bleed possibility. And only two time ticks. Oh. Okay. So, this is our Acolyte. We can go Swift Mend. Uh, one time, four heal. Heals for 10% of your power plus half of your spirit. And we can deal magic damage to undeads with this. It's pretty good. I could instantly use that. And then Sacred Shield. Target self or an ally. Bestows protection. What the hell is protection? Like a uh, negate one hit? Why not try that? And then, of course, we couldn't just take our hammer or our club and just go for it. Protection. Oh, yeah, we've seen that on these Will-O-Wisps. The next attack is ignored. Protection is removed when attacked. It's pretty good. Soul Gale, baby. We didn't get the knockback. Oh, massive damage, though. Massive damage. Go rattle. Nice, we got the stun. 
So our whole game plan shifted from big aggro single target damage to hold the line as long as possible while ramming the enemies down all at the same time, which honestly I'm not a big fan of. I really like focus targets to mitigate the enemy's uh, return fire. Let me go ahead and armor up. I think we need it. This is a, it's a bit more of a war of attrition here. Slash. It's a good compromise, actually, of damage and and uh, time uh, efficiency. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got healing prayer. Five time ticks. Pray for five. When the prayer is done, all allies heal for 30% of your power plus half your spirit. Uh, it's another AoE heal. Okay. Don't think I need it. But that's something you start, and as soon as you come to the front again, because it also takes five time ticks to finish, then uh, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so it's a nice setup if you assume that you will get damaged. You know what? Bonk. That's what we say here. Resist the bleed. Ah, it's the, the beauty of our um, of our veterans. Oh, by the way, we this is a damage race. Yeah, they are also getting stronger and stronger. All right, time to get some of them out of the game then, huh? Could be, could be a kill. And if not, he's bleeding at the very least, so he's gonna go down now. That's good. Healing chant. Doesn't feel worth at all. Hit everybody but the backline. Thank you. Down with yeah. you. And by the way, it is a totally random thing. Yeah, I know that there are little pips that indicate that anybody could be hit, but we don't know what it is. I'm going to show you what I mean later. Uh, and I hope that it then works as intended. Critter, yes. Spider down. This is not bad. Like, this whole setup, it might seem a bit scary. And yes, we sustained a bit of damage, but it's not too bad. Ah, yeah, we also, whenever we attack... We heal. That's really good. Bonk. Give me my swift mend or whatever. Oh my god! I forgot. I forgot to actually check who they are attacking. <laughs> Do we end this? No, we're gonna see some extra heal out of this. I think it's worth. Yeah, totally. Oh, we get healing chant. Doesn't kill, but hey, it's something. It's something. Oh my god. Let's get some healing out. Nice. I like that. Okay. Thing is... I think we need to kill now. I know, the Acolyte has its niche. Uh, it's like the dedicated like healer. But I do like my shamans more. I feel like I have this whole spread the damage out and then heal everybody and top him off all the time uh, figured out in a better way. That's a, that's a definite kill here. And, and we can also do that, like that big magic damage attack. Lead to great accomplishments. Oh, oh, all right. All right, I'll check this out in a second. Fine baubles. Wow. All right, massive bonus here. What do we have? An 8 armor, uh, sorry, 8 power, 1 armor shield, and we get 20 life per kill. I mean, I mean, let's go. Damage versus small. Uh, sorry, wrong thing. Damage versus small. I think I'm gonna give it on my high power shaman. Why not? Okay. So, let's keep going. Where do we want to go, actually? I want to harvest a little bit more. So, yeah, we probably go up to get another chance for a goblo. Next fight should be easier. Push! No ambush. <laughs> it's four spiders. I think we can actually deal with the poison quite easily. 
I can only intercept the first two, so it is gonna be just a bash, actually. I don't respect these guys, they will fall quicker than, uh, you know, we can armor up and hold the line and so on. Just, just get him down. Poison running through our veins, could be just a heal, but it could not be. So here's the thing, oh, wait, no, this is Hex, uh, let's go for, for a quick kill here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sudden strike is fantastic. A powerful start. Love it. Poisoned again. Should I try this healing prayer? No, we're gonna bonk. Absolutely. And yeah, with every hit, we also heal a bit, so gotta keep that in mind. Six damage. I wanna go soul gale on this. Because it kills the backline spider. Man, I wanted to show you the blast again, but hey, let's go. Okay, this is fine. Uh, I mean, that'll kill. I do like the versatility of the of the sword. It is faster, and you know, it has decent damage to it. This makes sense now. Just top him off. Um, get the stun? Question mark. Yes, we get it. Nice. Also the heal. Gotta keep that in mind. We have some life leech abilities now. Okay. I'd say we're gonna keep bashing. That's just it. Just get him out. Beautiful. And then we're gonna end it with a slash. Cool. A galvanizing victory. Bit of money. Nothing too crazy though. And on we go. So, I want to see some goblins, because I have the feeling like we entered a new tier of play here. And since we have new weapons, we might also get better goblins here that we can then add to our gene pool. All right, we got Hell Boomer. No, Heal Boomer. Still good enough. And Goof Punter. <laughs> so, we have... Ferocious. Plus three power. Flabby, negative three power, but more life. Skeptic. Wait, this is a 377? Oh! <gasps> and there's defensive. Armor and magic armor increased by five at the start of each battle. That's really good. What? Wait, j at the st wait, does it mean we have it at the start and as soon as we have one cycle done with the goblin, it's gone? Or does it stay and will be reduced when we are getting hit. Like temporary armor does. Uh, this guy is amazing. Holy crap. I mean, what are we doing? He, he's skeptic as well. So he can... Oh, he can get to nine mind? He is the Raider Overlord. I, I love this guy. We are ruthless. Five power after killing a foe. Thick-blooded. Spirited. Just flat to spirit. Oh, and alert. Oh, yes. Both of them are extremely viable here. I don't think I'm gonna take you with me yet. Uh, you can wait in the barracks. Oh. This makes everything way more interesting. By the way, there's a bag behind this. Look at this. Aha! Seen it. A modest fortune. Okay, we get another chest, which means that our power level is gonna go up again. Yes. Give me those temporary weapons. 11 power, 20% chance to bleed. That is just better, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, it is. Damage versus beasts. Okay. You are full on slots, so we're gonna give it to the raider, which is our current next damage dealer. Fine. I'm looking for these hidden treasures every now and every then. Hmm. So what do we get here? There is harvest up top. Or we could get more goblins down below. 
I'm holding out. I'm holding on to the, the harvest right now. It's fine. I need that wood. It's so important. One upgrade. We will find goblins over time. So. Got a bit of, of, of a surprise going on. What do we do here? What do we do? Wanna guard my shaman? And I wanna guard... Decker. It's important. So, they are done already. This is a Pestilence. Four damage to everybody. Potential crit as well. Ow. This is hard overkill on the spider. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright. So, we, I think we need a bit of healing on the raider. So, oh wait. Oh wait. This is 8 heal for everybody. Let's try that. I want to see this thing in action. So we are all the way in the back now. But the prayer is going. Good. Soul Gale is fantastic. I think Soul Gale is really good here. With the knockback chance and everything. But I want to show you Blast. You can see when I hover over here... There is a blue arrow that is indicating, and people say I should just press at the right button and I get the target that I want. So if I wanted to get the first target now, um, the first wolf, I click now. It hits the back line. It, it's random. It's just an indicator, okay? So. I think it's time for a little bit of violence here. Let's go. It heals us up as well, yeah? Rattle. Got the stun and my raider is coming up. It's kind of crazy with the 30% speed bonus my shaman is overtaking. is almost overtaking. What are we doing here? Sudden strike? Get some haste? Sure. No haste for me. But it's a quick attack and the more attacks we can throw out there, the more we heal up. I'm gonna go with the hex. Uh, actually, Pestilence. Yeah, no, we go with Hex. It's a good ratio of damage compared to the time investment. Alright. We need a bit more healing. Armor up, buddy. I know I could have attacked. But no. Ah, this is so weird. Wait, we have food, so as long as we survive, we are fine, right? That means we're gonna blast again. As long as we survive, we are fine. We can heal up with, like, other things. Oh! <laughs> Wait, you got a bonus against beasts or so? <gasps> I forgot about that! Holy crap! That's amazing! Exceptional skill. Yeah, baby. Prudence and time are potent medicines. I really wonder if we actually get to get the heal off. Um, were you attacking? You're fine. You can bash it. Get a bit of heal out of that. Nice. Go for a stun, and then we get the heal off. Uh, we get the heal off. Do it. Ah, okay, after your... Gotcha. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Alright, so we have 11 and we have 9 there. Uh, bludgeon definitely kills, so I'm gonna go for it now. Yeah. And we got it. Perfect. We could even cheese out another heal if we wanted to. As long as... Rattle doesn't crit. We're fine. Okay, he's down to one, he's stunned. Now we absolutely got it. Cool. Healing chance, so Jerk Powder is getting a bit more. 12. Fantastic. Okay, and then we go for... The kill, question mark? Hold up. I want to try something. I want to try something. There we go. We got another healing chant out. Everybody's full. Oh, we have 
Our control plus healing game totally works out. Totally. With each victory. Uh huh. The games are a little longer because of that, or the fights, but it is a viable strategy. And keep in mind, all of our um, healing units also have a viable attack. We have some AoE in the Shamans, we have the Bonk, the Big Bonk, the Bludgeon from the... what's his name? Acolyte? It's good. And I am a bit afraid because we get another... another loot cache here. Why do we get all of these big power-ups? They're a massive fight in the end. What do we have here? A stone axe. A 20% chance to stun. I think I like my bleed more. We also got a max life bobble. That is gonna go on... I'd say... The Acolyte, because I want to have my whole team at a, at a certain level. I don't need to have, like, one guy that has all the health, um, because I have so much AoE healing. So everybody needs to just survive so that the healing could go off. There we go. Another fight. Ah, crap. It doesn't matter. So here we're gonna power through, because these have low health pools. That's fine. It is just fine. Don't think we have to really think about this. Um, actually, I will intercept the wolf because he's not going to down that quickly. And I want my shaman to not get hit. Healing chant, no thank you. You know, I'm going to do that. That's the guy with the high power. And, oh, I should have maybe gone for the Raider because of the whole, huh, damage against beast situation. Yeah. But this is also pretty good. Give me a Soul Gale. Ah, oh, fantastic. See what I mean? That's great. Bludgeon could kill. Never does. Okay. 9 damage and poison. Mm. We probably want to try to get another heal off. Soul Gale kills two of these, though. What's the battle plan here? Uh, killing is probably healing more than healing, you know, preventing more damage. We have the food stuffs. And I think only one of us is really damaged. Yeah, it's fine. So, we end this. Another rattle attempt, come on. Resist. Yeah, it's fine. They're building up resistances over time. 40% already, but that's a kill, right? <laughs> I kind of hope for a boss uh, of the beast type in the end. Okay, where to go now? Tough battle into campfire? I think it gives us a lot of power as well as uh, some good loot. Let's do it. Power in terms of there's another chest and chests give you items. And items is just, just so crazy here. Alright, tough battle. Let's do it. Okay, how do we set this up? I think it's just an armor up here, so it's a very fast ability that gives us a bit of value for the long term. And I wanted to heal, which I didn't do, huh? Yeah, that's right. That is actually right. Let's guard. I want to try to get the spider out of the way, therefore Soul Gale. Get him a bit of damage so that maybe somebody else can take him down later. Slicing Dagger is an option, but we could just chop, dealing massive damage here. Yeah, It's 22 instant, we're gonna build upon that. Swift Mend, Purify, or another attack. That's a very weird conundrum, there is no good answer here. We could just hit this guy for massive damage. And so far, we are not endangered of going down completely. No, it's fine. 
Let's go. I could also purify, which takes away status effects. But I don't really care that much right now. Okay. Let's try for the 20% stun, which we didn't get. Gotcha. Healing chant. The funny thing is that blast would potentially kill one of them. Actually, the spider and the wolf are killable. And that's also fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're gonna use health as a resource right now. I'm still fine with it. Intercept. No need. I mean, I could... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let's go. It's also an attack, technically. It was an ability that didn't deal damage, but we used it on an enemy, and therefore it could trigger our shrine blessings. Really interesting. Mm, we needed to crit here in order to get him down. There's a chance. But I'll do this. Crippling Got the crit on the spider. That's fine. So... My radar is as guarded as guarded can be, which means we go aggro. Yep. That's pretty good. This is pretty much overkill. Yeah, he's not bleeding, but pick wounds also oh, deals a bit of damage, and it's the faster attack, so we're gonna go with it. Why the hell not? You're missing a lot of health, my friend. Oy, oy, oy. Um, I could Sacred Shield you, but I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> he hit him so hard, he put him into another dimension. Mm. The blast is so awkward. There's a two in three chance it kills one of the wolves. Okay, we'll take it. Good. I think at this point, the fight is basically over. We just need to bring it to the end. I don't think it's gonna be that much of a uh, of a thinking process anymore. We just go for it. Go for the bash, get the kill. Uh, it's fine, and even if we take another instance of damage, it's not gonna be the biggest of deals. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Cool. Mm. Wakey, wakey. Let's go. Like Holy crap, 30 damage. I think it's the biggest attack that we've ever thrown. Wow. With the bonus, of course. So what do we have here? Adventure stuffs. Uh, we got a bag. Chance for knockback. And an edged bone. Ooh, yeah. Wait, no. <gasps> that doesn't work anymore. Because I want the edged sword. Uh, the edged bone. But we got the damage versus beast on this guy. Which is so valuable. Alright, 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 alright. Chance for a knockback. I need to take a look at what we are fighting. And then we're gonna make our decision if we want to keep the damage versus beast thing online or if we want to go for the bone. Bit of junk. No treasure, however small, is worthless. So, at the camp... I still believe it's best to go for the increased speed because we got a lot of food. And I, you know what? I should actually use that now. So that I don't forget before the boss fight. All right. My little goblins. 11 foodstuffs. Come on. Have a meal, everybody. Was there something? Yeah, there was a thing. Cool. What's that? Sells for a thousand gold, a cobalt artifact. Ancient relic priced by kobolds. This will fetch a high price. Inventory is full though. Let's unbundle the gold bags. Ah, we can only have a stack of a thousand gold, it seems. Ah, Alright, we're gonna drop some junk then. They can something of worth in an unlikely place. Yes, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there will be a boss. 
So again, inventory management is gonna come right before the boss Play when we see what's coming. More speed, thank you. They rest and reflect upon the day's events. What do you think of the Acolyte? Is that a good addition to our team or do we just not care? Kind of missing the hunter, to be honest. I really like the class. The question is also, do we need... What? They can no longer turn back. Do we need two tanks? It's a halfling. Okay, in that case, I believe what we want is the the sword upgrade here. Unless he brings some beasts with him. With him. Because I want to have the faster attack on you. Okay. And we could also think about the knockback chance. Let me think. Yeah. We go with that. Okay, okay, okay. This temporary weapon can go? We can dismantle that. Wait, what? Oh, we can dismantle it to junk. We don't have to drop it. That's pretty cool. This is our sword. Let's not destroy it. Ah, uh, okay. They okay. can carry no more. They can carry no more. Hi, Halfling. This feral half. No, they have rats! And lives uh. amongst them like a rat himself. <laughs> I feel bad now. I feel so bad, and they have 150 health. Oh no. Okay, we gotta we gotta make do with what we have. What is your deal? 150 health, 12 damage, 50% bleed resist, super high stun resist, and everything resist. You're only at 10. Immune to damage while the rats are alive. Okay, we have to deal with the rats. Gotcha. Ah, fine. We're gonna get it done anyways. It's it's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna intercept. Wanna keep my squishies alive. So what about Soul Gale here? Nah, we go for that. Hex is just better. Absolutely better. What do we fish for? For the bleed? I mean, he's pretty resistant to it. We're gonna fish for the haste. And we did get it. Good. Stupid rats. Part of me really wants to get a shield out. You are the squishiest. Protect yourself, buddy. Yeah. This fight is gonna be a bit longer. That's okay. So we cannot hit you. We cannot hurt you. What are we doing then? Gotta wakey wakey the rat. Alright. 18 damage. I'll take it. Healing chant is not really efficient right now. Let's go with the blast and hope that we don't hit the immune guy. Perfect. Oh, yes. 28. Numbers are getting bigger, boys. I like it. Spirit Rush. Who wants to get a Spirit Rush? I think it's good, but on who? Let's give it to our friend Slagmonger, because he has, I think, the highest power out of all of our guys. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna throw out another guard or intercept. I'll do that. Assign duties. Hold up, what's that? Aggressive duty. Every other turn, all reds gain three stacks of toxic. Ooh, we gotta get poisoned. Defensive duty. Every other turn, all reds gain tough hide. Interesting. I don't think that the bash does a lot here. Shall we guard? Ah, let's go. Let's just get him out. Also stun. Hey, look at that. Look at that. We can throw out a wakey wakey. Wouldn't it be great to have extra damage against beasts now? 
Uh, uh, uh. Swift men seems good here. Actually, no, we, we don't need it. We're fine. Go bludgeon that guy. Just bonk him. Blast is okay. We just need to hit the right target. Honestly, if we get the second red down, I, I think I'm already pretty happy. They didn't do a lot to us yet. Oh, also, they have tough hide now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What, what's what's going on? Toxify. All damage taken is reduced by 5%. It's not worth think, thinking about it. I'm gonna keep bashing. And we get another stun. Really lucky here. Yeah. Honestly, I don't think we have to think about this fight. A lot. Unless something else is gonna happen. Huh. Slicing dagger is the only thing that makes sense here. Oh, nice. We get the bleed. Snicker. <laughs> Great. Alright. Another spirit rush. Or we go for a blast. Let's get the radar a little bit more. Action economy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Maybe I do need to take care of my guys. Alright. Yeah, I think my guards are gonna start intercepting and guarding a little bit more. I know. That's good. But we are still- oh, we are poisoned! That's right. So, Sacred Shield on you, my friend. Tune Trooper is now... A little bit better protected against big direct damage. And I think it's start we're gonna start healing now. Oh, that makes no sense at all, huh? Yeah, I thought so. Wakey wakey. Rat number one, almost down. So we wanna guard. Uh, guard the shaman. No, not the shaman, the acolyte. Good. Oh boy! Uh, these boss fights, they're actually quite dangerous. Long episode today. Oh my god, I hope you're still with me, guys. Start healing. I love the crit on the damage one. You increased your poison damage that you do. Ooh. And you toughened your height. I see. We gotta end this fight. And quickly. Thinking about a uh, one attack. Who's next? Purify. I don't think we need to purify right now. I think we're fine. So I'm gonna go with the fast attack. Yes. We hasten ourselves and follow up with the bludgeon. Kabong. One rat down. Very good. The other one is bleeding. Okay. It's very resistant to stun, but it's the highest damage that we can throw out. At the same time, I go with a bash here because it's the faster thing. This is better damage, right? But this is better DPR. Let's go with it. That's what we are here for. Or was it really? Hold up, no, it wasn't. It wasn't better DPR. I was uh, I was brain fart. No. Sorry, I'll take it back. You are guarded already, so we keep bashing. Alright. I think the poison is gonna be our biggest problem. But I also believe that with our life leech ability, we can actually counter-attack that. Seven poison! That's so much damage. But you got so much health. Do you get a purify? You have purify, okay. That's good. In that case, yeah. I wanted to chance it. That was a an attack that didn't do anything. Uh, we can go wakey wakey, perfect. Just so beefy rats. They have so much freaking health. Why is this lighting up? What does it mean? 40% damage to all foes. Yeah, so what? Okay. Let's 
Let's intercept the rat again. There we go. Oh, naps. <laughs> Seven damage is actually quite a lot. Yeah, you're still immune. What are we doing with that? We just drop the quickest attack so we can go fast again. That's what we do. Uh, we got another wakey wakey. That's pretty good. It's a solid 24 damage and 24 health is what he has. Yes, I think at this point, purify is what we want to do. Wait. It got rid of our... Oh, it got rid of our armor up. So everything is taken away. Interesting. All right. All right. Let's get the last rat out of the way and then just deal with that nasty, nasty halfling. Sure. Yeah, I know the chance was pretty low, but I wanted to try it anyways. Um... Yeah, we gotta do that. I want guaranteed damage, so another bash or rattle would maybe kill this. Rattle does. Good. It does not- Oh, you got the hide! All right, all right, all right. At the very least, he wasn't just buffing himself. Yeah. How does that work? That's what I thought. Yeah, this instant is still not hitting the halfling. But the next one will. Yeah, you snicker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snicker you up with my knife, with my bone knife. That I can tell you. Here we go. Excellent strike. We did it. The squalid halfling. We is done. did it, my friends. Squeaking and chittering finally silenced. Okay, I guess. I mean, a they thing can we can do is the following. Them. Hold up. These temporary weapons that we have. Where are they? There we go. Uh, this is a temporary weapon and will disappear. Oh, inventory is full. Can I not manage it here? Okay. This, to the radar. Temporary weapon will disappear. Dismantle. Thank you. This, to the... To you. Dismantle the shield. Stack that. Can carry no more. Oh, I could have also eaten my food. <laughs> <laughs> or drop it. I did it a complicated way, but I think it's still good. Okay, guys, let's get out of here. The wood harvest was not the greatest, but we got a little bit. And hey, we found another boss, a scourge. Scourge? Massive amount of bone and rock again, and we now have the hinterland badge. Okay, what are we doing with it? I don't know yet. But 17 wood. They can cap no, it's fine. Okie dokie. Again, long episode today, Let's but I wanted to get things done. Um, I will sort out my things. Ah, there we go. Hell Boomer has returned, but the lair is full. You will find them waiting in the campgrounds. Gotcha. Um, yeah, we will figure out things in the next episode of Goblin Stone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, guys.